again, your story is so representative of many people that walk through our door. Yeah. Um, and the reason that we high five everyone instantly mm -hmm. and excessively mm -hmm. is because we want you to know that we want you there. Yes. We want you to know that you are part of our family and yeah. that you are special the very first day that you walk through mm -hmm. the door. So um, with the help of your daughter, Monona, you did your first camp, the atmosphere really drew you in. Mm -hmm. How did you make that decision to make the commitment? Well, um, first off, we should go back to like, I mean, I think I made it to probably all of those that trial dates. Okay, so your 14 um, days. Yeah. You did and, all the 14 um, days. And then um, probably the next month after that, I will tell you, I like cried. Yeah. During the workouts. Literally, I was crying in the workouts. I mean, I wasn't letting people see that I'm crying. Yeah. It looked like sweat. Oh, my. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I thought, well, she's sweating a lot. <laughs> All from her eyes. But, um, you know, and then I'd be crying on the way home or the way to work. And yeah. What were the tears for? It was because, you know, I just felt so disappointed in myself for letting mm -hmm. myself go that yeah. far. Yeah. And like how hard these workouts were because it's like, oh, my God, if, you know, I'm in such bad shape that that's what makes them so hard. And, um, you know, just like how I let myself, you know, get to that point and I knew it was going to take a bit to you know get myself in better shape yeah but you know I don't know if it was the you know the workouts themselves or the variety of exercises um you know the, the group being so encouraging um but I just felt a, a, like like it lit a fire in me yeah and I was just like oh my you know this like even though it, it was hard it just felt good doing it yeah and um and I just, you know, I, I told myself, you know, I really want to make this work. I, you know, I, this feels good. I want to make it work. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so it was, um, you know, just a great feeling to, to get to that point. Yeah. 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 And I think that's important. You know, it's, you're recognizing that it is hard, but, mm -hmm. but you're doing it. You're exactly. doing yeah. it, yeah. it yeah. the hard things. Yeah. And if I could do it, anyone could. Cause I mean, it's like, it was, you know, I was modifying like crazy, <laughs> Hey, but that's okay. You know, yes. what's really interesting too, um, You've been doing it now for a long time. Yeah, and now five you're in years. A, a better place. We're going to talk about your journey and the success that you've had through that mm -hmm. in just a little bit. Before I give it away, though, um, is it still hard? Are you still walking out going, dang, I'm sore. Dang, that was hard. Um, I will say on strength days, yeah. um, my, my quads can be just really hurting <laughs> on leg day. Um, and there's times that I'm like, oh, I, you know, I have to take a break, you know, partway yeah. through. Um, you know, just a lot of lunges or squats couldn't do that to me. Um, but then also my upper body is probably my weakest. So yeah. that's, you know, that couple of days later, it's, it's tough. But in cardio days, I mean, it's definitely, I'm, it's, I'm, I've taken it to the max, but yeah, I feel good. I'm not like, yeah. oh my God. Is your max now way different than your max oh. when you started? Oh, so much different. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Are I you mean, lifting heavier weights now than you did when you started? I, yeah, I am. Yeah. I, I'm definitely heavy living, lifting heavier weights. Um, and, you know, the trainers are like, I mean, I encouraged them to push me. <laughs> Maybe that was a mistake on my part to say, hey, go ahead and push me. But, um, yeah, they come over and go, I think you should uh, be doing this. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, dang. And, Did and they I'm, do it that nicely? I don't get it that nicely sometimes. They just uh, hand me the heavier yeah, well, weights it, and then it, look it, at me. They're, yeah, probably both ways. They both ways, depending <laughs> on maybe their mood or how I'm looking. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, it's, um, you know, I, I think about, like, when I'm uh, – when I was, after I lost, you know, say about, you know, 25 pounds mm -hmm. and I'm doing a farmer carry and I'm carrying 25 pounds and I'm thinking to myself, why is this so hard? Because <laughs> I've been, I was carrying this every day. Yeah. On your but, body. But that, yeah, but that's yeah. what, you know, all that pain was coming from is that, you know, yeah. that, what I was doing to my body with not taking care of it. Have you noticed the pain has changed? Oh has it yeah. Gone away now? Oh yeah. Yeah. I, like my, the pains I have are really muscle soreness. Yeah. So it's, you know, I don't You've earn have, those. Yes, exactly. <laughs> those are earned pains. <laughs> yeah. And th I think they want me to have those pains. <laughs> yes, we do actually. Yeah. Cause if you don't, then you're not challenge, you're not continuing to challenge exactly, you know, yeah. yourself yeah. in that, in yeah. that great way. Yeah. So that's awesome. So, yeah. um, well, let's talk a little bit about, about your commitment. So you took me through the journey of, I did the 14 days. It was really hard. Mm -hmm. And you kind of said to yourself, but this is where I belong. Mm -hmm. This is what I got to do. Mm -hmm. Tell me about making that decision. Um, well, yeah, I guess, you know, with having such good results from it, mm -hmm. um, it made me feel better about myself. Yeah. And I felt that, you know, um, I don't know, it's. 
How did you feel better about yourself? What did that mean to you? How was it translating to you? What were well, you recognizing? Well, I wasn't having the pain. Okay. And, um, you know, inflammation was definitely down. Great. And my energy was up. Yeah. My strength was up. Yeah. Um, my um, endurance. I mean, a flight of stairs wasn't bothering me anymore. Nice. <laughs> and, um, and my confidence. You know, like I had confidence I could actually go lift up that extra weight yeah. or, you know, or do some some strenuous work in some place that I hadn't done. Yeah. yeah. How did that translate into your, into your daily with, with Dave, your husband, with Taylor, her, her little boy, her little yeah. one, how is, yeah. how is how you're feeling now? Yeah. Less pain, more yeah. strength. What are you yeah. doing now that you weren't doing before? Well, um, one thing is I have two grandbabies now. Yeah. So I've got my, my daughter has a five month old. My son has a 10 month old and I've, I have retired. So I retired last fall and, um, so now I watch my grandbabies as much as I can. Yeah. And like, I have no hesitation to get down, up and down off the floor where yeah. it used to be. I'd be like, where's the next chair? If you want me to walk from here to there, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm plotting out where the next chair is right. to sit down. And um, so, I mean, that's just, I don't know. I just, I feel so much better about things. And I, and I mean, I hate to say this in a bad way, but it's like, I, I can see someone is where that's at where I was. Yeah. And I think, oh my God, you know, I just want you to get to where I am right now. Yeah. And I just think, oh, my God, I remember being there. And it's like, oh, my God, it's so hard. And, um, you know, it, it takes a while to get there. But, you know, it's and I know I, I still got a long ways to go. But at the same time, you know, it's you know, it's so yeah. much better. But that fire's still burning. Right. And the fire. Yeah. The fire is. And, well, and it's, it's always fun. Like I'd be at work and people are going, are you, are you still going to, you know, work <laughs> that, out? I go, that boot camp thing. I go, yeah, 5 a.m., <laughs> you know, five to six days a week. I says, yes, I, you know, I'm going. I can't believe I'm doing it myself, but I am going. Yeah. And if, if I miss camps, I'd always be like, oh, a little disappointed with myself. And sure. like, oh, um, but yeah. It's, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm sure you inspired some of your circle just by what you were doing and then well, just seeing you make that commitment, not to your, yeah. not only to yourself, but then yeah. it really translating. And, and I'm sure you were showing up that yeah. confidence really does come through. I think so. Yeah. I mean, I mean. I always felt good when, you know, fellow campers, you know, sometimes someone come up and be going, oh, you're doing so good with that. Or, right? yeah. And I'd be like, really? <laughs> um, you know, and, and that's encouraging for me. And, yeah. um, you know, I think, well, maybe I'm helping inspire someone else, too, that's just getting going. It's not maybe. Yeah. yeah. You well, definitely are. You're well, in yeah. a book. Yeah. <laughs> now you're on a podcast. I know. It's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing it. Yeah. And I'm sure that there's a, a inspiration back to Taylor also. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She is. And, um. You know, and I've gotten a few people to, to join too, so it's been it feels good. Yeah, with that yeah, awesome. Any um, particular camp protocol that you love or hate? You know, I don't know if I want to say love or hate. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I know Arm Day is the most challenging for me, just because okay. I feel I just don't have that strength. Yeah, but I'm you know it's definitely in improving. And I didn't think Leg Day was, but lately Leg Day is getting to be a little harder. Yeah, I, I'm like, why? It shouldn't be. <laughs> Well, it always yeah. gets a little yeah. bit harder. Yeah. And yeah. I do, I, I enjoy cardio days, even yeah. though, I mean, it's, you know, got to work hard at it, but um, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so in your story, you talk about some setbacks. Mm -hmm. um, you even talked about the pain that you even showed up with. Oh, yeah. So talk to me a little bit about what that was mm -hmm. and what those setbacks were. Mm -hmm. um, some physical setbacks. Mm -hmm. COVID obviously was mm -hmm. in the middle of that. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important to talk about because, you know, we've got audience mm -hmm. members that are yeah. listening now and they're, they're f trying to figure out how do I go to camp? How do I work? How do I show up for my family mm -hmm. with this pain, with this injury, whether it's acute or long-term, mm -hmm. you just have to figure it out. Um, yeah. I have said, I used to personal training and I would tell my clients tomorrow is never going to be easier than today. So you got to figure it out. Yeah. Um, so walk me through just some of those challenges and how you overcame them. Yeah. Um, well, I, I struggle with sciatic okay. at different times yeah. and I can never figure out why. Um, but I would work to do stretches, you know, um, before camp, after camp, and then just, you know, at different times, like for bed or whatever yeah. to get through that. Um, but then with COVID and working out at home, I wasn't being too smart, but I was working on a hardwood floor. Oh. And so then I got plantar fasciitis, okay. which is miserable. Yeah. So, you know, I had to work through it with, you know, my ex different exercises and, you know, a little therapy with it. Um, yeah. So uh, that worked out. But a um, um, couple of years into working out, I ended up having a total knee replacement. Now, it wasn't wow. from working out. <laughs> I mean, it was just the wearing out of a knee. Sure. And um, so I finally decided, you know, to ha have it done. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that was... Uh, you know, is that a hard decision? N uh, no, 
because of the pain. Of the pain. Yeah. 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 I mean, okay. it was, I mean, it was hard, you know, working out. I mean, I would be limping after and, yeah. um, workouts and stuff. And, you know, and I had, had to modify a little bit more because of that. And I didn't want to, you know, it would yeah. hurt to do certain things. Um, sure. but, um, yeah, I, uh, so before I was going to have the surgery, mm -hmm. I like told myself like, okay, make sure you're in the best shape you can yeah. before the surgery, because that's just going to help you so much. Yeah. And, um, so, you know, I, I worked at that and, um, then, um, I also thought to myself, okay, make sure once you have the, the surgery, the therapy, you know, make sure you follow your physical therapist you know, instructions yeah. and, um, and just, you know, cause I wanted to get back in the gym and I didn't want this to be a setback for me or also, I also didn't want it to defeat me. I mean, yeah. I'm like, I want, you know, I want to be able to get back in the gym as soon as I can. And, um, I had, they had first given me three months, you know, like a, whatever I, um, Suspension for sure. three months is what the doctor kind of gave yeah. me. And yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. okay, great, three months, you know. Yeah. Um, when it got to that point, I really wasn't that comfortable yet. Okay. I kind of felt like I don't know if I'm comfortable going back in. Yeah. And so I extended another month. So okay. I did four months. Sure. And um, I just felt like I'd rather um, come back gently and, you know, slowly than fail. And then it just, again, be something that now I failed on it. Okay, I've got just put two years in yeah. and now I'm done for. Good for you um, for listening so, to your yeah. body. That's important. So I am. Um, you know, I, you know, my modifications were, you know, much further, more extreme. Yeah. And, um, like for my knee, I put, um, I, I had this thick, dense foam pad that I, anything that I had to be on my knees for, yeah. I used that. Perfect. Um, so I figured out ways to make things work for me and yeah. Yeah. So when you went in, um, obviously the trainers knew that you were coming back mm, yes. from a surgery. Yeah. So talk yeah. to me a little bit about how helpful that was. What, yeah. um, did you do focus meetings during those mm -hmm. times to kind of create a plan, stay mm -hmm. on track? Talk mm -hmm. to me a little bit about that experience okay. coming back. Well, first off, I was very impressed that I did get some emails or text messages throughout the process, just checking in on me. And yeah. that was, that was hey, very where nice. Your, where I know people? that was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, they were, I mean, really instrumental about with me coming back in. Um, they, they really, you know, I don't want to say they put a special focus, like it wasn't all on me, but I mean, they were watching out for me and um, they made sure that, I mean, first off with, you know, it was a total knee replacement, so I could no longer do high impact. Right. So I could no longer do jump ropes and, or, yeah, jump ropes. And um, so, you know, they made sure I modified and it, if it wasn't a modification for the rest of the camp, they gave me a, a different exercise altogether. Right, right. Um, so it, it just made it so that um, I made sure I didn't injure myself. Mm -hmm. And even if they gave me one, they checked back, like, does that one work? It was like, this, that one's not working. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was great that they were kind of watching out for me. Yeah. Yeah, made That's sure. Awesome. But they also, like, they also made sure I didn't try to get away with something, right? <laughs> Of course they like did. arm day, they certainly hey, that's not your arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your arm wasn't worked on, so it's like no, you are. Uh, yeah, you got to yeah. lift more weight with that. They, it, <laughs> trainers have an incredible nose for that. They'll they can yeah. they can see it from across the room, and then they'll shout your name out that's over the mic. That's the thing. I'm like, <laughs> you're in the back of the gym. You should be paying attention to those people. Nope. Don't be looking here. No, nope. that's why we give them mics, is yeah. so that you they can be all the way back there, and then you're over uh, here, and they're like, Karen. Well, we see you. That's it. There's got to be another Karen in this gym. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Do they say, there's no other Karens in here, Karen. It's you. You're the one. Oh, they would, yeah, if they needed to. I love that. That's so awesome. Well, that's great. And I think, um, again, it's like just one less barrier, one yes. less friction point for you to personally have to yes. overcome when yeah. you're dealing with yeah. just getting your body back. Yeah. And yeah. I just, it seems like there's just a continuance of that flame yes. burning yeah. And, yeah. and keeping you, keeping oh, you yeah. going. Oh, yeah. So let's talk a little bit about just your results in general. Mm -hmm. Um 50 pounds? Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit over that, but yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I've got more to go, but you know, I'm very proud that I've gotten this far. <laughs> yeah. Um, more to go. That's wonderful. Yeah. I yeah. love that. Yeah. But it, I mean, from where you were and how you're physically feeling, yeah. the amount of confidence that you have mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just knowing that you can be there for your grandkids yes. and that nothing's holding you back. Is, yeah. is that number still that important? Or is it changing just a little bit? Are you just a super type A high achiever and you got to hit that number? Oh, no, no, that, that number isn't, you know, so yeah. um, critical or important. Um, because, I mean, you know, even though I'm watching, you know, my portions and, you know, the carbs and mm -hmm. sugars and drinking a lot of water, yeah. you know, like, okay, someone's having some, you know, celebration. Yeah. I, you know, I'm going to celebrate with it, you know. Yeah. Um, Cinco de Mayo's coming up. Yeah. You know, I'll probably have a margarita. You know, I won't have. You I'm going to give you a high five on that one. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm going to have 
more than one, but you know, I'm just saying, you know, like, so I'm balanced. Yeah. I'm just trying to balance it. And, um, and so you don't feel like you're really missing out on things. Um, but in in turn, you know, I can also, you know, just pass by things too, because I feel like, okay, my mindset has improved so much from that. It's like, it's, that's, it's like, I'm not dependent on that thing to make me happy. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that. I think mindset's really important. Um, you know, again, we have a lot of members that, are where you were. Mm-hmm. And I think it's so incredibly important to not just look at these results. They're mm-hmm. wonderful, mm-hmm. but I love that you have this balance of knowing that that's not like the end all be all. It yeah. sounds like your measure of effectiveness is really truly about the lifestyle that yeah. you want to be able to have, the yeah. longevity that you're training for, yeah. training for. Yeah. Um, but talk to me about mindset of Karen, pre burn. Mm-hmm. And now what's, mm-hmm. what are those biggest differences? Oh, well, my, my mindset, I mean, I was, I mean, I was depressed about how I looked and how I felt yeah. and, you know, just th- that I had given up on myself and it's like, you, know, you just, it's almost like, who cares? Yeah. And, um, now I just feel like, it's like, I don't worry about like, who cares? It's like, I care. You care And enough. I feel, I feel, yeah. you know, good about it. And I think that probably, you know, it's, it exudes, you know, it's like, yeah. I'm like, I think it shows you know, yeah. that I, I, you know, I feel more confident about myself and just I'm out there more. And yeah. 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 Are people validating that for you? Are they like, wow, you're, you got a pep in your step. You know, I don't know because I think I, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm a very, you know, like um, person with a, a glass is half full, yeah. very optimistic. So yeah. I think, you know, I try to always think that way. Mm-hmm. It's just inside. It's more that mindset is what I'm, what I'm talking about is more what's inside yeah. and how I'm feeling. Yeah. So I think on the outside, I've tried to be very positive type person. So yeah. I don't know that they would see that type of thing, yeah. but um, I'm sure they do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they do. <laughs> I'm enjoying yeah. this conversation yeah. immensely. So <laughs> oh, I'm good. sure that it's amazing when, yeah. when you're talking to people yeah. in the community. Yeah. What would Taylor say is the biggest difference in you? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. You, my energy and, you know, yeah. my, my, you know, get up and go. Yeah. Wanting to, you know, get out there and do things. Yeah. And yeah. And definitely with her, her little boy that I'm, you know, like, yeah, just bring him on. Yeah. And, you know, I can't wait for him. <laughs> my, my time with old, she's, you know, crawling around and you know, chasing her. Whereas him, I, he's just at that point where. Yeah. yeah so oh, that's yeah. such a good time. Yeah. Such an yeah. exciting yeah. time. Yeah.